Hello, this is Strafty Strafty, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And last episode, we made this uh, clean room. Uh, what else we did? I moved one block behind, and we had an, an exact replica of this room. Minus this thing, because we're gonna do something with it. Eventually. Okay. Uh, what we are going to do, it's actually quite simple. We have a small issue that all of our productions are in different areas and they use different things to do different stuff. How many times can I say different? But today's episode, we're going to do a bit more, well, automation sorting uh not sorting but more streamlining this ro small room is going to be our new chemistry room and it will be mostly for chemistry yeah th th that explains a lot with that uh, chemistry room we will handle few things first fluid storage definitely that's one of the most important things and for that actually just grab some super tanks let's do the placement as like that first things first let's move this line this line is actually one of the simplest lines that we have and we will just turn it into a much more simpler much more sweeter process. Wait, logistics pipes. Uh, what we're gonna need is more pipes. And one of those pipes is, actually I need to upgrade those two. And logistic chassis pipe. It's actually far cheaper with this. Now, mark two chassis pipes. You're gonna need to give this actually you are not going to give any output so you can use mark one and let's just actually use basic pipe because there's going to be a junction point okay now passive supplier module you're gonna supply sticker is Ah, we need active supplier module. Sorry. Sorry about that. We need to just upgrade this guy. These guys. And that's actually quite simple. So now let's place one of the active suppliers here and 32 always. And it will probably pull 32. Okay, and yeah. Now, th this, this is what we need. Okay, this fella is ready and refined glue part is ready, molten rubber. This process is also simple, but I just need to give them. And yeah, that should be enough. And let's get the rest of it into the system here. And it should fill this inven uh, this guy's inventory with. Okay, sulfur is here and rubber is almost here. Okay, do you need any circuits? No. Voila! These guys are ready. You're gonna give me a fluid output and you're gonna give me a bolt fluid and item output. So, we need to extract the item output from this guy. Yeah, we can use extractor and moving the fluids. Extractor module. I do not put uh, basic fluid solidifier here. The fluid solidifier will be here with a fluid sp uh, specific items. Okay, this is the first uh, system we did and also we are gonna need fluid extraction thingies and 
Should I use uh, Greg Tech Pipes or should I use... I don't know. I, do, I really don't know. You know what? Let's embrace the logistics pipeline. And let's get some basic blades to pipe. Uh, let's just give it temporarily this guy and basic fluid pipe, a basic logistics pipe and here and fluid basic pipe uh are gonna be connected to oh that's an issue okay we will give them some space actually we can just give them groups of two so yeah it's just a bunch of rambling from me but now what we're gonna need is a simple way of handling this and fleet provider fleet provider come here i think you're going to connect to bolt so you should be okay and unrooted wait basic fluid pipe okay this should work now and what we're gonna need is full all the oxygen okay all the oxygen is here now just put the refined glue here and refines glue thank you and if i do this and this and continue with our thingy majiggy we will just put place this guy here now if i do this with this it should be, and the rest is this. Okay, it's starting to work, and why you are not, ah, okay, you are also working. Now, those are not going to do anything yet, because we didn't put fluid insertion pipe here, okay fluid insertion pipe and one basic pipe with unrolled okay now if i fluid at output fluid at output yes and yep it's it grows and oops i forgot this guy, because I need a place for that too. Anyway, let's fix it. We, we are probably having some uh, molten rubber floating around somewhere, somehow. But, anyway. And why you are feeling... Oh, because we have this. Yeah. Now, if we put another basic fluid pipe and just molten rubber and if I do fluid at output It should... Yeah, it starts coming to this. And... Yeah, it will continue to... Go ahead here. We made this automation much more simpler. And... We just need to move the other one. Actually, come to think of it... I hope... This continues to work, because this might stop even... No, this might not stop eventually. We might need some uh, remote emitters, thingy magicies, if it exists. But anyway, by the way, I also made a fluid request pipe. And if I put it here, I can see the hydrogen, the oxygen, the molten rubber 
refined glue and benzene. So yeah, uh, <laughs> we can access them all. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, our first uh, part is our oil production. Actually, let me just not do that. Yeah, I will not do that part. Unrooted. Get yeah, right back. We'll be passively supplying oil berries and we're going to glue that output. And actually, should I put oil into a separate tank? A small, smaller tank? Be no, because we're going to use oil a lot, actually. Or are we? Will I use oil a lot? I, I will use, but I will not passively uh, need to hold much. But anyway, let's actually... Yeah, uh, but I will still need a better than something, uh, something better than low voltage tank, so I will need a medium voltage tank. You are perfect. You are perfect. You are the one, what I want. What I need. And you already have molten polyethylene. So, molten polyethylene. Your new home is here. I really lo love watching uh, how this guy is working. Now, it should auto output now. Yep. Also, I think it waits for to be full buckets. Yeah, that's actually good. That's actually quite good. Okay, now what we need is something a bit interesting. If I put this guy, yeah, it's. So I don't want you to have bottom pump. I want you have a conveyor module on the bottom. Conveyor. Because it's still a closed loop. And closed loops are cool, good. And let's get this and this. Okay. Now, you directly go output to top. And you output to... Here, I guess? Yeah, because you're not going to get any direct input. Okay, now let's continue with our process a bit more. And so refinery gas. And you stay here. Over gas. Refi also refinery gas. Voila. Now, what we're gonna need is the sulfur gas. You're gonna be fleet supplier. Where's my fleet supplier pipes? Okay, fleet supplier pipes. And we're gonna be hydrogen cell. 16 buckets. Okay, now I need four cells and put those four cells here to here. Okay, now, so for guess, what should you... Okay, you need to be on circuit 4. Voila! Fluid insertion pipe. Okay, for either. Do I have any insertion pipe left? I guess no. Okay, the insertion pipes are ready. And... We should be just adding that. Fluid auto output. And no, the hydrogen sulfide goes there. I forgot that part. I I forgot that part. Okay, conduits. Come here. I didn't want to use much conduits, but I guess I have no choice. Actually, I have but it's not going to be pretty. 
and item filters, of course. Okay, this setup handles it, I guess. We will try it, and yeah. So that? Uh, is it? Oh, it's a high voltage tank. I don't want to use high voltage tank to you with this. We need a low voltage tank. Yes. Whoops. And my jetpack battery died. Okay. This is just a buffer to empty the cells itself. And so, basic distillery. You just need to be provided with fluid supplier. And oil cell. And on circuit 4. So forget it and fluid auto output. Okay. That should handle things relatively smoothly. Uh, by the way, we just re uh, learned something. If it got full, it doesn't send it to anywhere at all. That's nice. Okay. For the next part, we actually gonna need one more machine. One more interesting machine. Which is... Basic Fluid Heater. Let's add one more provider pipe to our system. Actually, two more provider pipes. And actually, no, just one more provider pipe. And one thing is going to be really strange. Yeah, we're gonna make a reservoir. This and this. And with that, now we can just easily request water from our system. Okay, now the last part. Also, we need that insertion pipe, and you will be here with fluid auto output. Okay, now, uh, severely early steam, severely stem crack, ethylene cell. Circuit you are, uh, you need to be on three. Okay, now, we need. I'm looking for refined gas. Okay, refinery gas. Okay, sorry, the wrong name. And put it here. And let's keep it at 8 for now. And let's give him 2. And it should start steam cracking it. And then fluid at all to it. And then it will distill it. The distillation part is uh, easy. Okay, severely steam cracked, and I just need to put you on helium ethyl uh, ethylene. Okay, you should be on three again. And one more thing, I will put a void upgraded barrel. Here. And I did something I shouldn't have. Anyway, uh, it's not void up upgraded yet, but it will. It will be. And the conveyor module. Okay. And the entire system is back online. Without any hitch. Basic electrolyzer. Ba ah, one more one thing. Oh, one more thing. I forgot uh, this guy. Uh, the main part. Uh, but the main part is... Should be here. And now the only part left is... Just temporarily connecting this. Add disconnecting these. And adding those two. One would be, uh, where is my wrench? Ah, here. One would be ethylene. 
and uh, Ethelene. Not... Yeah, Ethelene, come here. And the other would be Oxygen. And Ethelene, come here. And you let's eight and also oxygen eight. Okay. And thank you. And thank you. And the last part. My last two conveyor modules allow inputs and allow inputs one and also the last fluid insertion pipe and just some unrooted pipes after that uh, this one should be a basic pipe anyway actually let's put the basic pipe here and Unrooted pipes here. It's also, one basic pipe here. And after that, we have a route for our it's polyethylene. And if I just do fluid data output, yep, the entire polyethylene line back online. And yeah, it's better, much more compact-ish, and it's actually sectioned, so I can just move any section from one place to another. By the way, this is one section, this is one section, this is one sec- actually, this is three different sections, and this is one section. And this is just storage. And yeah... The, I think I we found a problem. Okay. Now things should be better. Okay. So. Oh, the blockage uh, seems like uh, looks like this. Nice. Uh, I didn't know that. Anyway, this is the end of the episode. After that, I. Uh, in the next episode, we will add more chemical processing here. Um, uh, I want some molten uh, polyvinry, etc. And yeah, some more thing. And also, I want to automate the silicon solar grades uh, thingy. And the other zero uh, inputs of 100% renewable. Uh, thingies. So yeah, this is Crafty Crafty and have a nice day.